Wondering how to connect a Facebook business page to a group? Unfortunately, I think Facebook tried to make it easier and actually made it harder, but I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do it with the new pages experience right now. Let's jump into it. Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media, where we help overwhelmed entrepreneurs streamline their social media strategy so they can attract more clients, members, students with less effort and less work. If that sounds like something you'd like in your business, take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video. My name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect a Facebook business page to a Facebook group. So this actually used to be a relatively simple process, but once everyone was forced to go to the new pages experience from Facebook, it got a little more complicated, but I'm gonna walk you through this step-by-step step. and you can pause the video anytime you need. That's the great thing about recorded trainings like this. Now, hopefully, as I go through this on my screen, it looks the same same or at least close to what you're seeing on your screen. But I do want to make sure to cover every potential step that you might have to go through. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Facebook group that I want to connect my business page to. Now, this is, uh, you may have a shortcut for it over here on the left, or otherwise you can click groups, you can search for it. I actually know the URL for mine, so I'm just going to type it in. This is for my social media leads lab group where we help people generate uh, endless free leads using social media. And now, I'm, now you may not have to do this, but my group does not allow pages to join. But in order to connect my business page to my group, I need to allow pages to join. So you can skip this if you already allow pages to join your group. But otherwise, I'm going to come down here to group settings on the left. And then I'm going to come down to manage membership. Who can join the group? It says only profiles. Now I'm gonna change this back after we're done, but right now I'm gonna say it's okay for pages and profiles to join the group. I'm gonna hit save, okay? So that's step one. Step two, I need to switch into being my page. So when Facebook forced everybody to go to the new pages experience, um, now you come up here to this picture on the upper right, hopefully it should be your face on yours, and you have all the different pages and profiles that you have. So I'm gonna click see all profiles. So this Jerry Potter one here with the blue shirt on, that is my personal profile. And now I'm gonna click see all profiles. And now I'm going to choose my page, which is this five minute social media Jerry Potter. So I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna switch me over to the page. Now I'm gonna go back to my Facebook group again, now is my page, the one I wanna connect it to. So you can search for it, or if you know the, the URL, you can just type it in up there. So I'm gonna go back. So here it is, this is my group, but now I, that I'm my page, you can see it says join group, okay? So I'm gonna hit join group. And on this group, you have to say uh, what your email address was to join because this is part of a paid program. But if you have any questions, answer the questions as your page. Now it says your membership is pending. So now we need to switch back to our profile that is the admin for the group in order to accept this request, okay? So now I'm gonna come back up here again, click on my face, see all profiles, and I'm gonna switch back to my personal profile. And now if I go into my notifications, I'm gonna see right here, five minute social media, Jerry Potter asked to join social media leads lab. So I'm gonna click on that. And so here it is. And I need to approve myself, basically. I'm approving my page joining the group. Now, if you don't see the notification, if you go to your group again, and over here on the left in this menu, you can also see member requests. You should be able to click there and see it. So I'm going to hit approve. So now my page is a member of that group, but there's two more things that you're going to want to do, okay? Most likely. First is I want to make my page an admin for the group. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click up here on Community Home. This basically takes me back to the group. And then I'm gonna click Members on the menu right here in the middle. And then I'm gonna find my page. So you can search for it right here. So I'll search for five. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click these three dots and I'm going to add as an admin. I'm gonna click Send Invite. So now if I'm logged in as my page, I can do things that other admins can if that's something that you want to do. So now I'm an admin in there as well, okay? Now we have to switch back to being our page to accept that. So going to switch back to my page. You can see here again, right here on the group, Jerry Potter invited you to become an admin for this group. I'm gonna hit accept, okay? So that's one thing. And then the other thing I wanna do is show you how to grow your group if it is a free group. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my Facebook business page. You can search for it or if you have it bookmarked, whatever is easiest for you. On this menu here, um, you may see it here or you may have to click more. I'm going to click on groups and this shows me all the groups that my page is connected with. And so here's the social media leads lab one. That's the one we just did. Up here, I'm going to click these three dots. Now, you'll notice there's, there's two boxes here with three dots. One's for the page. One is specifically for these groups. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to click automatic invites. So if you want people to join your group, basically people who have been active on your business page or people who are the most active on your page will get an automatic invitation to go join your group. So if I wanted it for this one, I would just turn that on and it will say, all right, is this something that you definitely wanna do? You hit confirm and that's done. Now I'm not going to do that because this is a private paid group, but if I still had a free group, then I would absolutely do that because it's a great way to get people who are already engaging on your page to then join your free group. One final reminder, remember if you changed it so pages could join your group, you may wanna go through and turn that off. So again, group settings, manage membership, who can join the group, I'm gonna change it back to just profiles. Now my page will still stay in there because it's already added, but new pages will not be able to join the group. So if you want your group the same way, make sure that you select that. If you always wanna stay up to date on social media and wanna improve your social media marketing overall, I encourage you to sign up for my daily tips. Thousands of entrepreneurs get them every single day delivered straight to their inbox. And you can sign up right now at dailysocialmediatips.com totally free for you as a viewer of this channel. And if this video was helpful, please let me know by giving it a like or leaving a comment. You're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home.